Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2019 and the Lincoln Loco 2. Today we have potentially two games that could decide the rest of the season for us. Staley Bridge Celtic and Osset United in what's going to be a real playoff battle. So before we get into anything else, just want to let you know that from today for the next two weeks, I am on holiday. So everything you see over the next two weeks is all pre-recorded and things like that. So um, hopefully, I mean, I sh as far as I'm aware, video should be out as per usual following the usual schedule of Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. That that should be fine. There should be videos out as far as I'm aware right now. If there's not, I'll let you know, um, let you know on Twitter, things like that. But it should be all fine. Um, while you're here, drop me a follow on Twitter anyway, because I'll tweet holiday pictures maybe and things like that if you're interested in that kind of thing. So it's at TomFM underscore YT. Follow me on there. There's a link in the description down as well. So basically, um, replies to comments might be a little bit slow. And if you say in a video something like next video, try a four, two, one, two, one, two, three, for example, it won't happen because I've pre recorded for the next two weeks sort of thing. So just to let you know, that's what's kind of happening. And um, yeah, basically that's what it is. So last episode, I told you that, you know, we didn't have that tough running of fixtures last episode. Um, coming into that last episode, we had five games in a row against five teams in and around the playoffs pretty much. And I said, the next five, we need to win at least four of those five. And you know what we did? We won five from five. I'll show you what happened in between episodes. It was fantastic stuff. We've hit form at the perfect time, I've got to say. Um, after that mad four-all draw with Games of Trinity, we only won one day against Pontefract Collieries again, playing the 4-3-3. A little bit of a weird one, but we at least we won it that time, I've got to say. I expected another four goals. We only got the one, but at least we didn't concede any. After that, it has been a little bit <laughs> shaky at the back, but quite good going forward. Warrington away from home, a 5-3 win. Most importantly, though, Declan Bacon with a hat-trick. He's finally starting scoring goals in the league for us. He got his hat-trick with Idaho and Masters either side of it, which is really good. Great three points there. Similar story in the uh, Ashton United game, a 4-3 one there. We were looking quite comfortable for a while until they got one in the 85th minute, and I was expecting it to be another game for Trinity. We changed things at the end, and it was actually okay at the end because we managed to make sure we won it 4-3. But Declan Bacon again, Javan Splatt, Matt Cotton, and Joe Howell with the goals in that one. So that was a pretty decent game. I was pleased with that one. The two games after that were much more comfortable. A 3-0 win over Workington. Declan Bacon, Adam Hughes and Max Brown with the goals. Followed up by another 3-0 win against Shepstead at home. With a known goal by one of their guys. Jamie Bird in the 45th minute. And Joe Howell right at the end of that game. So out of 15 possible points. We've got those 15 points. Has it put us in the playoffs yet? No, it hasn't. Not quite yet. We are a single point away from the playoffs. We are one point behind Matlock and Witten Albion. Four points actually behind Buxton and Hyde United. I said Buxton were going to go on this season and win the league pretty much, but they've slowed down. Hyde haven't slowed down and Boston have just accelerated. So Boston, as they rightly should, will go on to win the league. They have got the best team. They should win it. Buxton's form has been... I mean, they've been awful recently, I've got to say. Like, they were top of the table by quite a long way. Lost their last three games, and they've got Stafford Rangers, Game of Trinity, Altrincham, Hyde, Pontefract. They've got some hard games coming up, actually, as well, to be fair. So, if they're not careful, they might drop out the playoffs. Anyway, we're not here to talk about books, and we're here to talk about us. And today's opposition are 8th place, Osset United, and 7th place, Staley Bridge Celtic. So, that's going to be tough. Staley Bridge, one point behind us. Osset, a little bit further behind on five points, but they could easily catch us up if we start to drop a few points here and there. If we win both these games against rivals vying for promotion, I think we will get playoffs this season. Lose them both, I think that's maybe it. Draw them. You never quite know what's going to happen. So we need to win at least one of these games today. At least one. Because they're quite a decent opposition and our defence with the 4-3-3 isn't brilliant. We're going to move back to the 4-1-4-1 for probably both of the games today. So Calderwood, as per usual, starting in goal with a back line of Canwell, Gray, Narty and Bredis. That usual sort of midfield trio of Hughes, Masters and Howell recombine there to make themselves useful. Bacon is going to start on my left today. He scored quite a few goals recently, so I want to keep him in the squad. He can play on my left-hand side relatively well, so I'm going to keep him there. Max Brown is going to start up front, which is quite good. Javan Splat's just about coming back from a little knock that he suffered in training. So he'll be back probably for next game. I think I want to start him next game. And then on the right-hand side, we have got Jamie Bird, who's now got eight assists this season. The most in the entire squad, so that's quite good to see. Hopefully, he'll grab two more today. That'd be nice. Right then, kickoff is upon a Staley Bridge on a little bit of a weird squarish pitch. We'll zoom in a bit so you can get a bit more of a better view when the highlights come up. Again, 
I always say this about the Stanley Bridge when I play them. They've got quite a nice kit. I like the checks. If I had a football team, they'd play in checks. So I've got to say, it's been it's been a tumultuous season for the playoffs because there have been so many teams. I mean, Stanley Bridge at one point were top of the table. Bucks have been top of the table. I think Witt and Albion were top of the table at one point. I mean, Boston were down and out it at one point. Offset were top of the table at one point. I mean, Altering were up there. Ashton were up there. Ashton were top of the table at one point as well. So it's been just mental. Stafford Rangers were in there at one point as well. Like, we've always just been hovering outside. I think right at the start of the season, we had a few good wins to start off the season. We were in the playoffs. Two episodes or so ago, I think we just about pushed our way into the playoffs before we had that sort of run of five games against teams in the playoffs and dropped out a little bit. We're hitting form at the right time. If we can just continue on the trajectory that we're on, we've won the last five. If we can win another five, we'll definitely be in the playoffs. I don't think we'll need to win another five because there's only... Ooh, how many games left? There's, I think there's seven games left this season. So another five should definitely secure it for us. Great save from Calderwood there as well as Staley Bridge come forward. That's what we're talking about at the back. And uh, coming forward again, they've been clear, but only as far as Milton. But that's the end of the highlight. So that was Staley Bridge's attack. I think we're more likely to lose to Staley Bridge than we are to Osset United. I'd rather, I'd rather beat them both, obviously. But if we can hold Staley Bridge away from home to a draw and Witten, Albion and Matlock don't win, as I say, that Witten are now winning their game, we could be quite pleased with this, I think. Not much going on in this first half, which is absolutely fine by me, because the the less highlights, the less goals, and that means Staley Bridge can't score. I think this will be a 1-0 for one side, to be fair, and ideally for us. However, with no shots on target, we're, we're not going to score, are we? So we need to address that. What I might do, actually, with the second half, Brown can also play on the left. So if we swap those two around, give Bacon a go in the second half up front, Brown on the left-hand side, I think that will work quite well. If we're not winning by 75 minutes, I reckon we go to the 4-3-3. That might be the thing to do. I mean, this really is a bit of a stalemate right now. Really is a bit of a stalemate. There's that one highlight there for Staley Ridge coming forward. But other than that, nothing. No more shots yet, even in the second half. And there's been, you know, we're... Getting well into the second half now. Their defence, by the way, is on the 7.1, 7.75, um, which doesn't make sense with 7.5. That, to me, suggests that we're coming forward, but their defence is playing very well. So, on the 70th minute mark, this could be suicide, but let's go to the 4-3-3. I think it's worth it. So, we'll move Howell over with Hughes moving out wide, but then we'll bring Kyle Porter on instead for him. Uh, we'll move Brown into that target man position. We'll take Bird off and we're going to bring on Javan Splat as that poacher as well. We usually stay on balance, but let's go to positive for this just to try and get a few more bodies forward, perhaps a little bit more of an attacking mentality. Come on, our four away fans are begging for a win today. The f <laughs> four away fans, that is non-league four. And to be fair, that's probably actually quite a high turnout for uh, away fans. There is now a highlight and it potentially is coming for Staley Bridge right now. Have we shot ourselves in the foot? We know how shaky at the back this formation is. Saved, luckily. Only as far as their 11 done puts it wide the post. That's fine. That was nervy. Oh, Matlock are now losing, which is great because it moves us up into the playoffs. So drawing today will put us in the playoffs as long as Matlock lose. We've got slightly better goal difference for a change. Like last season, it was abysmal. We're going to go attacking. We're going to say push forward as well. This is it. We've got to try and grab this now in the final five minutes. And they've got a throw in, which they've won. I thought it was going to go straight to our men. Their man has cleared it up only as far as their number 10. Don't score now, number 10. He's put it across to their number 19, who somehow got it. He puts it back in. What a save by Calderwood off the line. And what another save as well. Calderwood... You've kept us in this game completely today. That deserves man of the match alone. And if we score a goal now, Masters in, cleared. Please don't get us. Oh, please don't score on a counter-attack now. Ingram, that was a great... Oh my God, Splat. Splat with a chance to do it. He scored the goal. Lincoln United won. Staley Bridge nil. Quickly onto tactics. Let's bring it back down to... Um, not five at the... Well, we could go five at the back, but it's not really that sensible because not the players on the pitch should do it. Let's bring it back to this. Um, Porter can go mm, see, mm, he can't really, it doesn't really matter, Masters can go CDM a little bit, right, that's what we're going to do, change it down to cautious as well, let's be very careful in these final five minutes or so, we've got the goal that gives us the win in this game, let's, <sighs> come on boys, come on, see this one out now, let's not do a game for Trinity, let's get the win, it puts us in the playoffs by two points as well, ahead of Witten Albion who are now drawing again, 
one point behind Hyde, two points behind Buxton. And as we go over the 93rd minute, Bred is to take the free kick. The whistle blows. We're in the playoffs as things stand. We do not, we do not let this slip. Quite frankly, that was an another worldly performance from Calderwood. Like, I, we wouldn't have won that without him. He was honestly incredible. He made some superb saves in that game. Like, we passionately, had, I need to talk to him personally. I'd never normally do this. I am very happy with your performance out there today. He looks motivated and inspired. I've never seen inspired before. I don't know if that's a new thing or not, but I don't think I've ever seen inspired. That That is actually huge. I mean, I'm so happy with that win. So happy, especially when it looked like Staley Bridge coming forward to score a few goals as well. It puts four points between us and Staley Bridge. A win against Osset United and hopefully Matlock losing will put us in the playoffs by more than three points. And that, at uh, that point, right at the end of the season right now is massive Whew, i feel pumped by that that has really got me going i'm phew, that is amazing six wins on the bounce now that's that is superb that is the best that is the best form we've been in for more than two seasons now i think just about we, we'll double check just about two seasons i think in fact that literally is the best record we've had since joining as manager of Lincoln United, six games won in a row. We've done five before, apparently, clearly. Must have been in our promotion year from the league below. But six in a row, not been done before. Superb. At least while I've been manager, because that's the record since I joined, you see. I'm sure Lincoln United in real life, at some point in the history, will have won six games in a row.